Alrighty, so we've covered my move from Key West to Marathon. Gave you a quick tour of my new Casa warehouse. Uh, then I did a drive around the island to let you kind of see where I'm living. Then hopped on the old computer and did a little bit of fishing prospecting without even leaving the house. So now we found our fishing zone, our pockets of uh, areas that look very fishy. Okay, now we have to figure out how we're going to get to those fishy areas. So today's video, I'm going to show you my tools of uh, what I use to find launch spots. Okay, since I use a kayak, I uh, have a little bit more access than boats. But uh, part of that is using boat ramps as well. So I'm going to go over the tools I'm going to use. Then we're going to hop in the car and do a little bit of leg work and cover the grounds to the west of Marathon. So basically the seven mile bridge to Big Pine Key and hit those kind of target zones and try to find launch spots that'll cover those. So let's get started. All right, the tools we're gonna to be using are actually very similar to my home prospecting that I did. Uh, one that is different is using the My FWC uh, app. Um, if you go onto Google and just shirt, um, search for Florida Boat Ramp Finder, okay, it'll bring up the, the My w FWC app. And basically all it does, click on that and it'll bring up a map of Florida and it'll list all the uh, public boat ramps that are in Florida. Very convenient, very nice. And that establishes a good baseline because a uh, majority of those will tell you if they're open, closed, um, and then uh, what, what about them, if they're rough launches, if they're concrete, parking, and so forth. So very informative there. So start off with those. I don't necessarily have to have a boat ramp because I have the kayak, but it gives you a good solid base to start from, okay? Next, we're gonna use uh, good old Google Earth, just like everything else. And we're just gonna basically run the shoreline, okay? And we're looking for not only access where we can get to the water, but we also need ability to get close to the water to unload our gear, unload the kayak, and so forth. Also, a place to park, okay? It's all difficult, nothing is easy down here. So we have to look for something that has all those components in order for it to be useful. And then finally, I'll bring out the good old top spot map. And uh, this, this pretty much lists the, uh, the uh, public boat ramps and a little bit of uh, information about private uh, uh, marinas and so forth where you would also have access to the water. So another good source there. So those are the tools that we'll be using and uh, yeah. I'm already uh, prepped up and ready to go, so let's go hit the road. All right, we are heading out, uh, getting ready to head onto the Seven Mile Bridge. This is where we started our bike tour, or ended our bike tour. But yeah, there's the old bridge. They're getting ready to make it all the way out to Pigeon Key. See all the boats out there? That's what I was talking about, this side being a no-go fishing area. There's just too many boats around this area. But let's get on down to the other side of Seven Mile and look for some launch spots. Here's the public boat ramp right off of the west side of the Seven Mile Bridge. Got some good parking for me. Drop the kayak, come up here and park. Got limited spots for uh, boats. And nice big ramp right here. Got a little blocked off spot for me to back in there and uh, unload my stuff. And then I could just roll the kayak down. So that'll be nice. Use my wheels to get up and down. And then that gets me access to uh, the west side of the Seven Mile Bridge here. So, be using this one quite a bit when I want to hit the bridges. And possibly running out to the uh, islands out there as well. So, good spot. This is Veterans Memorial Park. This is just on the other side of the freeway of the uh, seven mile bridge launch I just showed you. Nice access over here. 
The only risk you have is these things fill up on the weekends. It gets pretty busy out here because it's just a little public beach park, which there are not very many of in the Keys in general. But uh, easily launch out here as well. This spot is on the Atlantic side. It's kind of a uh, rough park area. It's just got a little bit of a turn off. And then uh, I've seen four wheel drivers just back down to the water, which would be nice. But uh, I don't think I'm gonna risk it with the, the Honda, but you can just basically park it out here and then run the kayak down and then go to the Atlantic there. Still right next to the two boat ramp and then the park, so. Not a huge need, but it's an option. This next one is another one it's just across the street from the big campground here. You got the off turn there. You can drive down the dirt. They got it blocked off, but then you can get down to the water there. Again, this is just right opposite of that last uh, spot there. Gets you right by the bridge. Another rough one. This is a good example here. You got the mangroves provide a natural barrier. Anywhere that you might have access to the water, they'll put in fencing. So uh, just a whole lot of no options. And uh, we're coming up here on Bahia Honda State Park. And that's kind of why all these areas are gonna be blocked off. So there's no access unless you uh, enter the park here and pay the fees uh, actually up here but you can see that it's all fenced off there nobody allowed either side there so for miles and miles of fences racism and there's the uh, entrance to Bahia State Park there and then we come up to uh, the bridge up here but there's like there's no access you can't even walk down here to like fish underneath the bridges or anything They had to pay though. Dang it. Here's our postcard moment with the old uh, Bahia Honda Bridge. That's the old postcard view there. But there's some spots up here we'll check out. Uh, this is a kind of a hidden uh, spot here. Uh, you have to kind of walk to get to the water, but it's uh, usually not too busy. Decent amount of parking. But like I said, you got to haul your kayak a bit, so got to have wheels. So you basically unload your kayak on the parking lot, and then you got to make it through the fences. And then I think you could see how far it is. Yeah, basically you can kind of see there. It's not massively far. Ah, what the heck, we'll make the walk down there. And this is the entry point here. Great spot for some safety snorkeling because it's all enclosed. It's the pit, basically. And then right around gets you to the Bahia Honda Bridge. So I used to use this one a lot. But I could use this one to go straight out to the backcountry stuff. Big pine. Here's another one of the nice public boat ramps. One of the nicest ones around here, right by the Spanish Harbor. And that's Big Pine there. But usually generally pretty good parking. Nice big boat ramp. So that gets me out to the back country out that way. That's no name bridge out that way, Big Pine. And then Spanish Harbor Bridge right there. So really good spot. Again, gets busy on the weekends and holidays. Nice spot though. Uh, now we're on Big Pine. This is the known name bridge. I'm on the east side of it just crossed over and this is kind of a hidden hole here You could launch at the marina on the other side, but I think they charge like five or ten bucks, but you can launch right here fairly easily 
get you right out there and there's the bridge there the boat launch we were just at only thing that worries me about these kind of way out of the way general things are safe but take that as your golden rule there now we're just going to head to the end of the known name uh, road here and find the last spot down here And this is the end of the no-name road. A little bit of a walk to the water. A buck and a doe. Hey, doe birds. Like little puppies. <laughs> See, they're so used to humans. Not good. Go. Anyways, could launch from here and hit all the islands. A little bit of a walk though, but not bad. And here's the last spot on Big Pine. Have like a public boat launch. All right, this is on the uh, Atlantic side, right by the Bahia Honda Bridge. This is one of my old spots. A little bit of a rough road in it to get down to the water. Usually I'd just come right around here. Let's see the best spot to actually get to the water. Usually it's better back there. I think this has those, yeah, this has the blockades to get down. Oh, maybe not over here. Ooh, ooh. I'll get high centered. Ooh. Yeah, just take that turn off. There's parking up along top for people wanting to get the view shot of the old uh, Bahia Honda there, but there's a little turn off before that that you can come down. You just got to kind of drag your kayak through the rocks to get to the water, but get you right to the Bahia Honda Bridge. Alrighty, we are back. Had a successful trip, found about 10 different spots, uh, all within our little fishing zones that we want to try out, so that'll make things a lot easier. Um, I've actually done a couple of videos for launch spots, one for just Key West proper, and then another one from basic, I think Big Pine down to Key West. Uh, so I think if you go and just search launch spots on my main uh, uh, YouTube page, it'll bring those two videos up. But uh, yeah, we've got uh, 10 nice spots to work with, so that ought to be good. Um, going forward, I'm going to do a video about Marathon proper. Uh, even though I'm not going to fish here a lot, it'll still be good to have a few pot, uh, spots to give me access when I want to do a quick run out and I'll possibly use it for like bait, eat, bait catching and so forth. Um, then I'm going to move on over to the east side, which is going to be a little bit more tricky and uh, going to involve some moolah because it's all private and uh, uh, state parks that way. So we'll have to figure something out. But uh, keep an eye out for those and we knock those out and then... Uh, we might be able to touch the water soon. So how about that? So uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.